Oh, yeah. I just wanted to mention that it's a Class C felony to fraudulently create any mental health advance directive. Yes. Now, I would think these mental health evaluations are actually mental health advance directives. <laughs> And when I told the individual while I was in jail that they didn't have jurisdiction, <laughs> I had informed Judge Porter that I was not given any notice of court hearings and I was not heard. <clears throat> now, Judge Porter requested my presence in court and I emailed the police department. I'm not evading going to court. Just give me the notice required by law obligating me to have to go to court. <clears throat> It seems that judges don't have a problem putting people in jail. <clears throat> but I thought it was very fraudulent to have somebody from Western State Hospital yes. do one of these fraudulent mental health advance directives when I informed them that the protection order is a fraudulent court order because it's incomplete, <clears throat> has forgeries on it, <clears throat> and you've used it to arrest me for crimes I didn't commit. <clears throat> Now, you wouldn't admit the evidence I wasn't in Squim. <clears throat> you wouldn't admit the evidence I wasn't in Brennan Poach. Now, every time you've had one of these created fraudulent, created mental health evaluations, you've intentionally tried to defraud me of my rights as an American citizen. Now, I'm wanting to sue you today. Ouch. I want to sue Phyllis. Yes, Jack. Yes. I want to sue Jefferson County. Ouch for the fraud of creating mental health evaluations that were going to be used to justify the cell hearing <laughs> of whether or not I was mentally competent to stand trial when I know <laughs> that on June 16th of 2017, I was sitting right here. Now exactly who's the crazy fuck today? Now for every impersonator of any public servant or any impersonator of any organization that thought defrauding me of my rights as an American citizen! <laughs>